The other one that Rich and I both have been involved with quite a bit is Medina Country Club, Course 3. This is where the Ryder Cup is going to be held in 2012. Um, they started with a reconstruction of the 11 remaining original soil-based push-up greens. On the greens that were replaced were on holes, there's the list of them. The 600 other greens had been rebuilt to USGA standards, but they were all reestablished with the new blend. Um, one of these greens, number 15, they totally rebuilt the hole and um, with a new um, hole layout. They regrassed all 18 greens and they have what they call a putting clock in front of the clubhouse to bring about pure bit grass greens. They also regrassed all 18 fairways and inter intermediate roughs to get rid of poannua and other types of undesirable grasses. Um, Reese Jones was the architect for this renovation and he's supervised all the changes on all the courses at Medina since 2000. Curtis Tyrell is the superintendent. He was previously at Desert Mountain, and um, I've known him since he worked at Desert Mountain many years ago. We talked to him quite a bit at the GCSA show in 2009. He seeded his first plots in April 2009, and they actually started the re renovation in August of 2009. Um, Curtis went with a blend of 30% SR1119 and 70% 007. Um, and his fairways, he actually did 1119, 007, and he put some colonial bent grass in there, 10% colonial bent grass, because he wanted even more genetics in there and um, some different adaptation to some of his shadier sites. And they reopened in June 2010. In September, he, he told me the greens are doing well. Most of the issues are mechanical as a result of some settling in the greens. He's had a little wear on the edges and cleanup pa passes, but he's very happy with them, especially considering the summer. Um, the fairways are coming around, but he had a little hard time with them this year because they re received 252% of normal rainfall in June and July, which made them really hard. So it was hot, humid, and they just got pounded by rain in that area. And I don't know if any of you saw pictures of Iowa State University. It went underwater during this time frame. Um, he, as Curtis says, this along with the heat and humidity made things challenging. He also put a velocity program in, in the spring. And he says it yellowed them out some and regulated them all through May. And then June, it didn't work quite as it usually does. This is a superintendent telling you. So, but they weren't quite as mature, but he's very happy with the performance at this point.